Hello, everyone. Welcome to the press conference. Today, we're joined by Evil Geniuses coming off of their victory against Foot Esports. If you'd like to ask a question, please use the Zoom hand raise feature. We will start with pre-submitted written questions. Uh, we have a series of questions for Potter. The first question comes from Ganesh at Strafe. Evil Geniuses has started on a great foot. First of all, how are you feeling about the win? Feeling good, feeling really good. Um, you know, second map definitely got a little shaky, but um, we're shaking that off completely. It's not really how we started it. We're just proud of how we ended it. So definitely feeling confident uh, that we closed out that second map. Thank you. And about the second half, uh, we saw EG struggle to take on sites, but you called a timeout and changed the situation around. What did you address in the timeout? Several things, but um, you know, one thing that we identified was that they were very grouped. Um, and even though we had a lot of advantages early on in that half, uh, we weren't able to convert. A little bit unlucky on our trades, um, but you know, uh, we just fixed our spacing and reinforced our confidence. Thank you. Next question comes from Chris at Spin Esports, also for Potter. How important was having Demon One in Tokyo? It was a little bit important. No, I mean, no, it's very important, very important. Uh, Max has definitely elevated this entire squad for the past couple months. Um, and, you know, we feeling reinvigorated. The kind of confidence that Max provides for the team, um, just in general, we feed off that. So it was very, very good. Um, feeling very motivated as soon as we found out that he was actually going to be able to make it. Thank you. We'll now open the floor for remote media questions. Uh, first question from Brandon at Esports GG. Thank you very much. Congratulations on the win. Uh, this will go to Bustio. You know, speaking about Lotus, the the second map there. You know, you had a huge game, 35 and 19 on the Killjoy. You know, we saw you kind of just running into spawn at times. The teammates setting you <laughs> up, just just really going after it. You know, feeling yourself. I just like to ask you. You know where you were finding the value individually on a you know not a typical fragging agent as well as how are your teammates helping you find that value as well yeah i think um of course with com and ethan they're always very good at supporting if you look at that ace the only reason i got it was because of ethan's flash um and then corbin set me up front b as well for a 4k with a stun so um yeah it's all about their util not really about me but um, it feels good to have that kind of type of performance on the international stage. I feel very good right now. Thank you. Next question from Sons of KS Latam. Thank you very much. I have a, I was a have a question for Potter, but I'm going to change it. Um, this question is for who do you like to answer? Is there any team that they want to face and why? Anyone can answer. Me? Let Max do it. Let Max. Max, 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 Max this this one. This one's for Max. No. Um, the team I want to play is obviously Fnatic because like all the comparisons, Durka versus Demon One, the bald buff, all the all of that. So I want to play Fnatic definitely. Can't wait to see him in the playoffs. Thank you very much and congratulations for the first win. Thank you. Thank you. Next question from Declan at the Cerdo. Hey, uh, my question's for Team in One. I was just wondering how the first match on International Stage felt. Did it live up to hype? Um, the first match it was exciting. You know, obviously a bigger crowd, different setup, and all that. Different PCs, definitely way worse. Kind of impacted my game point, but I'll get used to it over time. But it was super fun, like the crowd and all that. Just like cheering it was super cool to see. Thank you. Next question from Diogo VLRGG. Thank you. This question is for Ethan. Um, obviously, Bustio was a really big contributor to you guys hanging in on Lotus, but do you think you can point out any other factors that, that let you kind of stay in the game? Uh, yeah. I mean, other than his individual performances, his calling also helped a lot. Um, we closed out split because of the calling. Um, we started off well in defense, but we closed it out super cleanly on split. And um, you know, on Lotus, same thing. We uh, started out okay. And, um, you know, the closing part was the important part. And uh, that was a lot of him mid-rounding and calling and everyone having faith in the system. Thank you. Next question from Declan at Cerdo. 
Hi again. Uh, this question is for Joagamo. Um, So you guys have talked a lot about kind of expectations in VCT Americas and even kind of before coming here somewhat. Um, has your relationship with pressure from those expectations or the lack thereof kind of changed at all since the start of the season for you or personally or for the team at all? Uh, I don't think the expectations got any like uh, pressured by any of us. I think we just had our own game and especially our individual skill. Like we, we have like no limit on us, you know, once somebody else is hype, the rest of the team's hype, and then it just goes like it's domino effect. Like we're we're always gonna make sure we're on top of each other, and make sure that we have our plays correct. And if we're not doing well, we're gonna pick somebody else up, and that's why we're a team. Thank you, Declan. Did you have another question? Uh, yeah, just a quick one. Um, I'll direct it at Com, but really anybody can pick it up. Um, so we heard some of the EG Coms after uh, some of the boost heal plays. Um, I was just wondering for everybody on the team, like, have you ever heard him, like, get that high of a pitch before in, like, scrims or anything? <laughs> um, well, with Boosty, even when we were playing in VCT Americas, uh, you could hear him in the crowd. You could probably even hear him call some of the strats, too. It's just he's super loud, and honestly, when he's super loud, you know we're winning. So I'm happy with him. Thank you. Are there any questions from on-site media? Stop laughing, man. <laughs> Here, I get lose. Okay. Jesus. Okay. Hi. Um. Congrat congratulations for your victory. Um. This question is for Ethan. Um. I believe it was you that in the in the pre-event co press conference, I believe it was you that said you have you really don't have any expectations into this event. You're just happy with whatever you take home. And now that you've beaten the Third best team in EMEA, two zero. Oh, the third best. Team. Is that change? Do you have like more uh, confidence that you're gonna make it deep into this tournament? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, any win is gonna help with confidence. I think we'll bring that into our next game, whoever we play against. Um, you know, I, I come with the mindset for a lot of events that we're underdogs. I think it helps a lot mentally. Um, you know, it worked really well for the regular season with no expectations. So I'm gonna keep it that way myself. Um, yeah, the goal is always to win, though, for sure. Thank you. Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Any other on-site media questions? All right. I think that concludes our press conference. Thank you very much, Evil Geniuses, for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.